This week on In the Field, it's off to Lake Hodges to catch some early morning fog. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport, and thanks for joining me this week on In the Field. And uh, so it's June in San Diego, and that means June gloom. We get a lot of haze and a lot of fog in the mornings, and sometimes that takes until the afternoon to burn off. It's a good time to head inland, uh, particularly in the mornings, to, uh, to catch some of this fog hanging over the lakes. And that's just what I did. Went out to Lake Hodges to catch some early morning fog. And uh, so let's uh, take a look on the maps, and I'll show you some footage from the shoot. Here is San Diego downtown, and to the north, the Route 15 here is Lake Hodges, kind of separates uh, the northern edge of San Diego from Escondido. I'll zoom in here. And uh, depending on the time of year, the water you know, weaves its way all the way through the canyons. Let me switch over to 3D mode. And we'll go to satellite. You can see up in here, there's all sorts of hiking trails that wander and wind it through here. And on this particular morning, I kind of worked my way up and through these hills and was kind of probably in this area about here. Here we go. You know, up on these ridges, looking out over the water, and then to the distance, the hills and the very distance, so this is like way out in this area, were, you know, covered in mist and fog. I'm up on some hills just uh, overlooking bits of Lake Hodges. The lake is looking really low. It's getting into summer, and of course we've had this terrible drought in California. So that has really cut down the water levels. But there's a uh, really nice fog hanging over the hills today, and uh, it's a little hard to make out in the video, but there's a bit more visibility than what's coming through in this uh, in the iPhone here. And so I'm um, just going to play around a bit, walk around here, and uh, get some shots of, you know, kind of the undulating hills as they fade off into the distance. See what we come away with. I framed up with a long lens and I'm taking a shot kind of like this. And there's a bit of dead space in the front, but uh, I'm thinking of cropping this more like a um, an HD, you know, 16 by 9 or maybe even cropping it like a pano. So some of that's going to be out of the way. And I'm really more focusing on getting a, a nice you know, smooth line of these hills kind of coming in from the upper right and going down to the lower left. As for the camera, I'm using a long lens. I'm probably shooting around 150 millimeters or so, so I'm compressing those hills a bit. They'll look a lot closer together. And I'm um, at f16 using the cable release, and you can kind of see the, the frame up there. And so there's, you know, again, that dead space in the front, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to crop that away in post. I'm playing with other composition here, and uh, this is predominantly gray. If you look at the histogram here, you can see everything is very tightly crunched together. And so I'm playing with the exposure compensation. This is nominal, and this is one stop overexposed. And uh, trying to nudge things to the right a little bit. Uh, certainly when you have a histogram like this, uh, this is actually not so bad. Everything's in the center. And uh, when we're in post, we start playing with contrast. It's going to spread that out and get our dark blacks and our bright brights. Um, but just I wanted to show you an example of when you've got a foggy condition, you know, like what we have out here. You're not going to have a, a histogram that spans the entire range. There's just a lot of gray in this scene. So here are a couple of the shots that I left with from that day. I did take a few others of some close-ups of the rock formations. Um, and I, I came away uh, liking the calm scenes, but wishing that I had more of a solid foreground subject, uh, something that would uh, even more dramatically illustrate the level of fog that was there in the morning. So that's a good excuse to, uh, like I needed one, it's a good excuse for me to go back and do another shoot another day. So the tip of the week is to make the weather work for you. Just because weather conditions aren't quote unquote good, it doesn't mean there aren't good photographs to be had. So uh, foggy days are great for um, calm moods, mysterious moods, things like that. So don't uh, always assume you have to have quote unquote good weather to get a good shot. So that's all for this week in the field. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell a friend, contact me, reach out and uh, ask me a question either through my website or through social media. It'd be great to hear from you. 
And until next time, I'm Scott Davenport. Thanks.